Okay, so a lot of you guys requested a tutorial on how to do that Scott Pilgrim song, which is actually by my trick. I meant to say featured on Scott Pilgrim, but um, I'll try my best to do a tutorial on it. So, here we go. Okay, for the first part, what I do is put my finger on the uh, seventh, seventh fret on the uh, second string, which is the A string. And uh, you're going to pluck the first E string and then the second A string twice. So what it's going to sound like is... So when you keep doing that... When you do it three times, you're going to get to a point where you have to play the E and the A and then the E the A. So it'll sound like, so after three times, it'll go. And that's basically what you do for the first part, until you get to the uh, singing, which goes, which is basically a palm muted intro, except you're hitting both of the strings with your palm at the end of the strings, like so. Okay, now after you got that, try this for a couple times. Alright, that's basically how you get into the verse. Now when you go, now that the truth is going to be... And what you're doing there is... Here, let me make it better. We start on the seventh on the A string, and every time you sing a word, it, or in you know corresponding to the song, you're gonna go. Now that the truth is just a so it's kind of harmonizing and like a lower octave. So when you go, now that the truth is just a that you can bend. And then when you get to that part, you're going to go play a G5, which is your first finger on the G, the third fret of the E string, and your second finger on the uh, fifth string on the A string. So this is what it looks like from the top of the guitar. You just play that four times. So it goes, now that the truth is just a rule that you can bend. So that's what it sounds like on that, and you do it again. You crack the whip, shape, shift, and trick the past again. Send you my on a wire. Oops, that's not right. <laughs> well, anyway, okay, the chorus is a G5. And then a, let's see, that's a B5. And then E5, C5. For the people that don't know what that is, a G5 is just like what we played when we played this. Where it, it, you, you basically, when you play fives, you have a open fret in between these two fingers. Where the first is on the E string and the second is on the A. So it would be a G5 and then move up to a B where your first finger is on the seventh and your second is on the ninth of the A. Now go down to the open, where you just have your open E and you have your second finger on the second fret of the second string. And then the last chord of the chorus is a C5, where it's uh, I think the eighth fret and the tenth fret. So let's try that.
parts of this part again. It's going to basically do what the intro did, where your finger is on the seventh fret and you're playing that pattern. One, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. I don't know how to do that high pitched guitar. That so, anyway, basically, what you do is go through the verse again. You know where it's like palm muting while your second string is on the seventh string of the second. Seventh, seventh fret of the second string, and you just palm mute and plug it, and then you get to this. And again, with the now that the truth is just blue, so when you get to the chorus, it's basically the same thing. All the while, the you are every time, everyone. Now, when you get to the, uh, let's see, solo part, I'm going to mess up a bunch. Okay, that's what it is. Now, on your fourth string from the low, you're going to have your finger on the ninth fret. So you're going to pluck one, and then move up to the 8th fret on this 5th string. A whole step up, and another. Well, after. You, that's the, you know. So 9, 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, 12, 12, 12, 10, 12, 10. So that's the first part. And then try that again. So it'll go. That part goes 9, 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, 12, 12, 12, 10. Wait, no. Okay. 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, 12, 12. Okay, wait, scratch that whole part. <laughs> Sorry, this is getting so long. Um, I learned it by ear, so it's hard to remember because I haven't played this since, you know, September. So, let's see. 9, 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, 12, 12, 12, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, it should be 9, 8, 10, 10. Okay, well... I can do that better. I don't know why I'm getting not getting that right now. Because that's what I have in mind. Alright, so... Probably totally lost on this tutorial, but... Okay, so it goes 9, 8, 10, 8. 10, 12, 8, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 8, so it goes. Oops. And then the third part of it goes. Which is 9, 8, 10, 8, 10, 12, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 8. So you're going to be, it has a lot to do with these higher strings. So let me try this solo again. just ignoring the fact that I haven't done well in this tutorial and going back to the song
Okay, we can pretty much say that was the worst tutorial ever. Ever, ever. So, don't get mad if you know you can't figure it out because I wasn't expecting a great tutorial to begin with. So I did my best. I'm sorry if it's not awesome, but you know, try to just learn from where I'm plucking if you don't understand what I'm talking about because I didn't even. So, well, good luck with that. And I hope you can learn that song because it's pretty fun and it's become a pretty big hit. Alright, thanks.